Pierce. It is I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie, bringing you a very special review. And I spent a week with Ridge Racer. Let me tell you how it went. Now let's take a look at the back. Ridge Racer, tunes on, nitros on, game on. After 10 years of drift, racing supremacy, Ridge Racer's genre, dominating graphics and legendary gameplay hit the hottest new handheld entertainment system. Crack the soundtrack as you speed through all new nitrous infused models including wireless battle and a challenging world tour. Master the art of drifting in single player mode and compete head to head with up to 8 players wireless battle mode. Race through the wide range of environments including seaside, countryside and mountains and the city. Choose your ride from 54 new upgradable vehicles then take 24 course including updated console and arcade classics. So the game has a lot to offer here. It is one to eight players. You do need a memory stick to hold some data on there. And it does have Wi-Fi capability for multiplayers. Hey guys, is Ridge Racer. Now, before I kick off the PSP review of it, let's go into a bit of history of Ridge Racer and where it's come from and how far it's come along. So let's look at the Ridge Racer video game, the original from 1993. It was a racing video game developed by and published by Namco. It was initially released on the Namco System 22 arcade system board. If anyone knew, remembers these old arcade systems and worked on these arcade systems would know what I'm talking about. And later ported to the Sony PlayStation console in 1994. It is the first time in the Ridge Racer series released for arcades and home consoles. The objective is to finish in first place in a series of races. The PlayStation version supports Namco's Gen Con controller. So this is the Gen Con controller if you guys remember what that is. Development took eight months and the game is based on a trend of among Japanese car enthusiasts. The first home version was released in Japan in 1994 as a launch title for the PlayStation. The version of North America and Europe were released in 1995. It was a re-release in Japan for the PlayStation, the best range in 1997. In traditional Bridge Racer games, players choose a course, a car, a transmission, automatic, or six-speed manual standard, or five-speed automatic. Let's look at the gameplay for Bridge Racer. Uh, the, the whole purpose of the game is dr drift racing. You're drift racing. I don't know if you guys saw Tokyo Drift, and that's what you're doing. You're drift racing. Vin Diesel knows what I'm talking about. I hope he's watching this. And uh, it's a traditional lap racing game against opponents, and you usually start in last place, and you got to work your way up to first place. And there's time trials, world tour, wireless battle. It supports, I think, eight players. Uh, yes, eight players. And it's uh, Wi-Fi network capacity. They play for people with people from all over the world. Let's talk about some of the pros of the game. I'll, I'll be nice about this one. I know there's a lot of Ridge Racer fans out there. But the pros. Okay, I had a really good time playing the game. I spent a good time with it a whole week. Uh, I, I unlocked a bunch of cars. I unlocked a lot of uh, the 25 or 26 tracks. And I have played them in reverse. So you play some of the tracks and you remember some of these tracks. And like, wait a minute. I remember this track, but it's backwards. I'm, I'm driving the other way now. You're not driving in reverse, but you're driving the other way on the track. Which was pretty, pretty interesting um, little thing they got going on there. The music is fantastic. Um, the tracks that you do get for music are really good. And I'm not talking about race tracks. I'm talking about music tracks. I like to crank it up a bit. I did get tempted to put the headphones on a few times to listen to some of the tracks and the music as you play. 
I did realize that um, the graphics were really good for the PSP. I was very surprised with the graphics and the quality of gaming and the control was, was very surprising. Now, let's go into the cons of the game. So don't get too beat up. I'm not trying to beat up the game because, like I said, there's a lot of people out there that love this game. So, the cons. The transmission. I hated having to lift the gas and shift. The, the, shift, the shifting for the, for the transmission is not on the panels up top. So you have to release the gas and push the, the square. I think it's the button up top. I hated it. Uh, having, I, I couldn't keep the, my foot on the gas, so it's really hard to shift. So, um, it's almost like you have to play like, like this, shifting, holding it weirdly, or playing it on the table to hold the gas and shift at the same time. That was one little problem. Another little problem I found with the game was, it is so hard at times! It's so complicated! So if you're looking for a challenge, please... Play this game, you'll realize I had to go online and find cheats for it because I had to find out ways to refill my my NOS tanks faster or start with them filled. I had a really hard time getting through some races. I even mastered the turns, mastered the drift, mastered when to hit the NOS, mastered and mastered. And there was some tracks, I think it was the second day or the second day of the tour, of when you click the world tour. I had a really hard time uh, with it. But... That was pretty much it on the negative aspects of it. But that was the, pretty much what the problem was. Now, the game modes, I chose World Tour. So basically, you're flying around the world, picking up different tracks, playing, racing, trying out different cars, unlocking different categories. I got to the third or fourth category class in the game, which was got pretty more advanced and a lot more complex, and the cars got a lot faster. But I did really have a good, really, really have a good time with, with, with Ridge Racer. The complexity kind of turned me off a bit at times. I had to put it down and walk away because the game did get complicated at times. Now, let's look at availability for the game and pricing. Finding the game. I've been looking on everywhere pretty much, and the only place I can get a lot of results is on eBay. I found 75, 71 results for the Ridge Racer for the PSP. And a lot of them are other versions. Uh, they don't pertain to the one we're talking, but they are obviously newer versions of the game of course but the one we're talking about is becoming more and more scarce and i think it's definitely something you should pick up or racing fans uh or collectors should pick up because i see it disappearing into history